It's now 5.33. We continue our team coverage this morning along I-565. That's where we find Way 31's Rodney Ross. She's keeping an eye on road conditions and the traffic you need to know about before you head out the door this morning. Rodney, tell us exactly what you're seeing along 565 this morning and what the conditions are right now. Good morning, Bill and Alyssa. Uh, before I get to the road uh, conditions, I want to tell you a little bit about what I'm experiencing out here as far as the weather is concerned. Chris has been talking all morning about how high the winds are, and I can attest to that. The winds have kind of been blowing me around all morning. It's been kind of rough out here. In fact, I'm having to keep a close eye on my equipment because I can kind of see the wind blowing in a tad bit and want to make sure that it doesn't blow over. Now to the road conditions, I am along I-565. So far, I have not seen any wrecks or anything along the roads. And because the rain hasn't started yet, uh, it does seem like traffic is flowing pretty well. But as the rain does start, that can create some road conditions as water gets on the road and it makes the roads a little more slick. So you're going to want to make sure that you leave home early. Give yourself enough time to get to where you need to be. Slow down, leave enough space between you and the car in front of you just in case you need to stop suddenly. Now, I will be keeping an eye on traffic out here to let you know of anything that does come up. Another thing that you want to keep in mind as you're traveling this morning are down uh, trees. We, we had one on uh, Governor headed west, so you want to make sure that you keep an eye out for those as well. Reporting live in Huntsville, Rodney Ross, Way 31 News.